Well hello there, my name is Hell Skipper and today I'm going to talk about Rotors, which is a part 2 of Pistons, Rotors and Tivers. I hope you will enjoy it. So let's go now onto the Rotors and as you can see, this is a Rotor and Rotor is a block that can, as the name implies, it can rotate. So if we go into the control panel and find our Rotor, we can write, we can make it rotate by clicking reverse and setting up the velocity. So as you can see by pressing reverse we can reverse it and make it rotate and it can be very useful tool in many many situations in space engineers so as you can see we have two different rotors and what is the difference so we have a normal rotor that can transfer your energy throughout the grids and we also have the advanced rotor which has a door on top of it a connector and it will let you pass it uh, pass through it items so uh, this might be useful when you are building something that needs to pass through items, for example, like a drill, like a crane, maybe, maybe some type of a connector, and th th these things. And this version cannot, and they cost the same, if you are wondering about that. And we have a big grid versions and a small grid versions, but take a look at this. So this, this is the small grid version, if we remove one on top of each other. This is a small grid version, which is practically the same as that one but just smaller but if we take a look at the advanced rotor this is a small grid version of advanced rotor so if you are building like a small you want to build a small turret that can make that can pass through items it might be very very hard for you because this is much much bigger than this one and it also has a big connector not the small one which as you can as you know and maybe you remember Practically every gun in this game, on the small grid version, other than the rollable rocket launcher, uses the small door. So, if you want to fix that, I propose to use connector, which has a bigger on the bottom and four small ones, and can be very, very useful. But you also can use the conveyor junction, which has four big ones and two places with the small connectors. So, you can put it on top and make your then add your guns and for example have a small turret which is working and can transfer, uh, transfer items throughout your, your vehicle so let's go quickly by the options if you ever want to configure it, your rotor and what do we have we have of course share in an intershare tension which i discussed previously we can add heads to it which i will go i can go right now by it so we have a rotor uh, maybe not the advanced one. I want the normal. We have a rotor, as you can see, this is a this is a top part of this rotor, and this is pretty pretty big. But sometimes you don't want to have a big grid, um, big grid on top of the, or your rotor. Sometimes you want to have small. So if we find that rotor, which is called rotor tree in this case, and we click add a small head, it will add yes the small head, the small grid version. So we can have a big grid, uh, which is connected to the small grid version so this might be very useful if you want to build something uh, which doesn't have to be as big and you want it to rotate as a special way the next option is to reverse so as you can see we can also detach we can detach this head that, that's the top of part we don't have to have it attached i will go through it in a while you can also uh, press the rotor lock if you don't want your rotor to rotate because right now when i press reverse and nothing happens as you can see it doesn't care about it which is just locked but if we remove that as you can see it is moving again the torque this is basically a power uh, how fast it will accelerate the braking torque how fast it will stop it might be useful when you're building a turret because you want it to accelerate very fast and maybe a brake very fast but maybe you don't want that so you know, it can be useful in a variety of situations. It depends, you have to tinker with that to know what uh, what amount you need in a certain situation. We have, of course, velocity, which is how fast it will rotate. We have a lower and upper limit. As you can see, uh, we have some angles written all over, all over the rotors. And this basically let us configure the angles that the rotor will operate on. So. Right now we have it lower minus 90 degrees and upper 
90 degrees and current angle it says it's minus 90 because the it is this thing which is showing where the rotor is facing I press the, I put the the block wrong way but it basically is facing 270 degrees and if you rotate it it should be on the 90 and as you can see it is slowly slowly moving as we stop at the 90 so it might be useful when you are trying to configure something and you need exact exact amount and you don't know where it will face so it might be useful for that i personally don't use it it doesn't work for me it is just easier to, to do it by trial and error and you know this type of thing and we also have rotor displacement which can move rotor up and down so if you have a problems with your grids you can move it up and down and it will make my advice work great so the uses use cases of rotor so as you can see this is the first one so as you can see i talked about previously about the piston and the drills on this but right now we have the evolved version of that so why is this evolved as you can see we have a, a rotor in here which is the advanced version probably you should have some storage because right now it doesn't lead to anywhere we have some pipes and few pistons a rotor on the end and some drills which are very loud so i'll move back a bit and why is this version improvement over this one so as you can see it can only drill down using a piston but right now we have we don't have we don't need as many drills as we need previously and we drilled almost the big maybe even bigger hole with only using five drills uh, against using the six one so you know this is a big improvement in my opinion and if you are on budget you don't even have to put those two drills on because while it's ro while it's rotating those two drills which i'm looking right now will dig the rest of it it will just work slower and also using this rotor you can move it left and right so if your pistons go to the maximum depth that they can and you have as big hole as you possibly can in this one place you can just move it to the a bit of a right and you have another hole and even more resources and this is just amazing it is just amazing like use this one not that one but you know to make a principle to know basics you need to know about that one to know about this one so how is it is configured? basically those pistons are on the smallest possible velocity they have share and sharp tension because i sometimes put it if it is too big too jiggly and this rotor is uh, set to rotate indefinitely as you can see it has a velocity of three and nothing no uh, lower and upper limit because we don't want it to stop we want it to rotate all the time and this one you will probably move by yourself the next use case of a rotor is by building custom turrets which are the new addition that you do you can have you can do with the new update the warfare update and as you can see we have a small ball turret which has a rotor in here which has a in advanced version and then a hinge and then there's a small hinge part hidden inside and this is our turret which is working and can pass through items if we have a storage somewhere under so why is this very useful you basically can put as many guns as you want onto the your turret and it will work and you can have your ammo storage uh, storage somewhere down under the ground for example so it will be much much safer and we also have the same version but in a big grid very big big grid version with an artillery i think it is what is this block this is the yeah, artillery as you can see if we hop right into it we have our turret which we can move which we can zoom in we can shoot anything goes to a big grid version it is working and it is moving you of course may want to uh, work on your design because you know as you can see this is this was yeah yeah this was built very very quickly just to show off how it can work but the same goes for it you have a big grid advanced rotor and the hinge and it can pass through items so your ammo may be safe so this might be very very useful so that will be all for rotors i hope you will 
would enjoy that. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike, leave a comment. And I see you in the part 3 about timers.